Xeros includes over 50 enhancements, so let's take a look. Move on Dark now follows next jumps in the Q stack. So historically, Move on Dark has always just looked down the Q stack to prep your fixtures. Um, however, um, I could now go into the settings of Q5 uh, and say that I want the next Q to be Q3 and click OK. So now if I go into Q5, just like we would expect, our next row jumps to Q3, um, but you'll now see that my console is prepping my fixtures ready for Q3 because Move on Dark has looked and followed those next jumps. You'll notice that my very last queue in my playback here um, has a stop command in the queue settings. That's because 0714 also includes the new loop playback feature. If we go into the settings of our master playback, hold set up and tap it go button, we can see our loop playback setting here. By default, loop playback is disabled for the master playback uh, and enabled on all other playbacks, um, as it always has been. Um, that means, just like we can see here, if we go into the last queue of our playback, we stop. Pressing go again has no effect. If we were to press the down arrow on a keyboard, you'll notice that Q1 does become the next Q again, meaning pressing go will take us back to Q1. If we go into the settings of our playback, we can enable loop playback, uh, and that means if we go into the last Q of our master playback, you'll see that we're automatically taken back to the first Q as usual. To change the defaults of the console, you can go into Setup, Defaults, uh, and then you can choose to uh, configure whether you want all future playbacks to have loop playback enabled or disabled. But as mentioned, the only change by default is that the master playback has loop playback disabled now. Whilst we're talking about playbacks, if I just jump back into the playback settings, it's worth noting that you can now disable the button function of a playback. Just go and click the active option and it will then disable the button entirely for that particular playback. On Flex, another new feature in 7.14.1 is our Grandmaster can now be a independent playback. By default, Grandmaster will indeed be a Grandmaster, but what we could do is set up a lighting state, tap record, and then tap the blackout key. And the console will then say, are you sure we want to overwrite the Grandmaster? And yes, we can say that we do want to. So what that means now is if I go and um, press, uh, press and hold my view button and tap the blackout key, it means we're now viewing our Grandmaster playback just like any other playback, and we can record lighting states onto there. A um, couple of examples of that, you might want to record house lights onto your Grandmaster fader for easy access, or you might want to record a custom inhibit state so that you can essentially create your own custom Grandmaster. Uh, check out the online guides uh, for information on configuring an inhibit playback. This change means that the standard Flex console does now have 242 playbacks in total. Another new feature in Xeros 7.14.1 is clear fixture. Um, previously, if you've gone in and adjusted your fixtures, you'll notice that those adjustments are displayed as red intensities in the output window. Our clear button, we can use that to clear out all of those manual edits. However, what we can do now is press and hold the clear button and tap just one fixtures button, for example. And you'll notice that has cleared our manual adjustments for just that one fixture. Everything else is left how we'd edited it. So that means that we've cleared out that fixture and it will go back to being controlled by any queues that are running, or if no queues are running, it will go back to its default values. When you've got fixtures selected on FlexS, you've got different tabs that are open along the top. Uh, and if you go and use the tabs there, you can page through the various parameters on the encoder wheels. Now, another change in this software is you can hold shift and tap the tab 
and it will then page you back through your encoders. So if you've paged one too many times, hold shift and tap the tab and you'll be taken back to the previous page of encoder wheels. There are various other improvements to the standard Flex console, including uh, improvements to blind mode, recovery mode, and tracking backup. And for all consoles, as always, there is indeed a big update to the fixture library as well. So go ahead, download 07141, get it installed, and if you've got any questions, just reach out to Verilight support. Thank you.